What's up guys, today I'm gonna to answer the question, does UX design require coding? You're not gonna to wanna to miss this, let's go. Right guys, let's jump straight into it. This is probably the most asked question I get from beginners all the time, and it's, do you need to know code as a designer? So let's put it straight. There's two different fields when you're working as a professional designer. There's a designer and there's a developer. And when you work in a company, they have different people for different roles. So I, as a professional designer, don't do any coding. I know little bits of code just because I've picked it up over the years, but from beginning to output, I don't actually deliver any code. So you don't need to go on a course to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, which are the three different technologies that we use when we make websites. So I'm gonna break it down like this. As a designer, your job is to take ideas and to take information and to craft it in a way, kind of like an architect crafts a house. So an architect will draw blueprints and they'll take all the ideas from the client which will be the person who wants the house built or the person who wants the website built. They'll put that together, they'll work with them, then they'll put structural plans together, which then you can hand over to a team of builders and they'll build the house. And it's exactly the same way when you do a website. I could literally, my job is to create plans and to hand them over to develop, a development team. And there's different types of developers. There's front-end developers who work on the actual visual thing that you see. So on YouTube, it's all the fonts, everything that you see now. And then there's backend developers who work where to get the video from, all the information. They're different skill sets all together. So it's good to have a good overview of them, but you really don't like, I don't care if a designer knows how to code it because it's like, do you care if your bricklayer knows how to design architectural plans for a building? You don't, the separate skill sets. Smaller companies may combine them, but that's only because they're trying to save on hiring and paying different people. But when you work in the world-class organizations, the big companies, they're very different skill sets. I don't, I, I'm definitely not a pro in coding. So take it from me and I've worked in loads of places that you don't need to know it. But what you do need to know is that as a designer, your job is to hand over plans. And those plans could literally be drawn on a piece of paper. I know we talk about the different tools, like I use Figma to design websites, and then there's wireframes. And all a wireframe is, is a sketch maybe done on a computer, could be done on a paper, but I do high fidelity wireframes, which takes the sketch and then makes it look like a real website and prototyping tools. But that's only because I've found by working over the years that developers prefer working from the wireframe because it looks, uh, not the wireframe, the high fidelity prototype, because it looks like a website and they know what to build. And my job is to hand over the best plans to developers as I can. So if you wanna learn web technologies, that's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, then you can go on a course on Udemy. There's plenty of good ones and you can learn that. But then your job at the end of it, you won't want to go and work as a UX designer. You'll want to work as a front-end developer or a UI developer as they're called in different countries. And their job is to make what the designer gives them. So they take the plans and make it. So either you're a designer or a developer, it's up to you which one you are. But I hope that makes it, <laughs> hopes that breaks it down a little bit more. If you guys want to learn more about becoming a professional UX designer, check out anthonyconvoy.com. I talk about all the industry-related jargon, all the terms, everything like this. All the questions you'll ever ask is in there. There's 17 different projects where you watch me design websites. I give you a brief. We build a portfolio together. You put all of that in there. And by the end of the course, you're going to be well on your way to becoming a professional designer. We're going to go over interview questions on how you can get your foot in the industry. So check it out. If you want to stick around on YouTube, watch the next video. It's a half an hour introduction to UX. I'm going to go over the seven steps that you need to become to be a designer. Check it out. Until next time, keep designing.